Hey guys, it's Katie from Matches Clarity, and today I'm so excited because I'm reviewing the Crane Ultrasonic Cool Mist Humidifier, also known as the Crane Drop Humidifier because it looks like a giant water drop. It's so cute. This Cool Mist Humidifier is so easy to use, will go great in a kid's room or an adult's room. We're going to talk about all the different parts, I'll show you how to use it, what water to use, and of course how to care for it and keep it in good shape. We'll also talk a little bit about why Matches Clarity were reviewing humidifiers to begin with, its connection to sleep, and I'll definitely answer some commonly asked questions about this humidifier. So if you're ready to learn more, stick around because the review is about to start right now. Make sure to check out mattressclarity.com if you want to see the other humidifiers I reviewed. I reviewed a couple of other Cool Mist ones. So just go to mattressclarity.com, type in humidifiers in the search bar, and you'll definitely see it come up. I've also done a ton of other reviews, pillows, earplugs, white noise machines, anything that has to do with sleep we've got up on the website. So make sure to go there to check it out. And at the end of this video, comment below and tell me if you think that the Crane humidifier is going to be a good fit in your room. Let's talk more about the specifics of this humidifier, shall we? This is the Crane Ultrasonic Cool Mist humidifier. So for those of you who are not familiar, humidifiers add moisture to a room that helps loosen mucus, it helps keep throats from being dry, helps you stop you from coughing at night or other allergies, things that are gonna disrupt your sleep at night. So having a humidifier in a room, especially a dry room, really helps you stay asleep at night. And that's why we are including them in our reviews, of course. So this one is really interesting. It's an ultrasonic humidifier, which means that there's a little nebulizer in here, and I'll show you that more up close in a second. It works at ultrasonic speed to turn the water droplets into air and it comes out of this nozzle at the top as a cool mist. So water does evaporate and comes out of this little directional nozzle up top and it lets you decide what direction you want that cool mist to come out. Now I would recommend using distilled water which means water with no minerals in it because that's going to be the purest water going into your air. So if you have hard water and you use tap water and you decide not to use distilled water you may have some white, very white fine powder around your humidifier and that's just those minerals basically being evaporated. Evaporated. So go distilled if you can. Now it runs up to 24 hours before the tank empties and it does have an auto off feature. So if the tank is emptying while you're asleep, you'll see a little red light come on inside the machine that will let you know that it needs to be refilled. It will work best for rooms that are about the small to medium size up to 500 square feet. And you can control how much humidity comes out of the machine with this dial over here. You can turn it off and then go all the way to max if you want. So one way you'll be able to assess the humidity level of your room is to look at how the the mist is coming out of the directional output. If it's going straight up into the air, that usually means it's a good indication that you have it at the right level. If the mist immediately starts to fall down around the humidifier, it might be that it's on too high and you either need to dial it down a little bit or open up a door to let more air flow in. There's also a really cool feature on the nebulizer. It has a layer of antibacterial anti-mold material on there that's supposed to help block the growth of bacteria by up to 99.96 percent so it's another added feature to help prevent any germs from being evaporated into the air which i love as well so i mentioned there's a dial here that lets you control the humidity level you get one year manufacturer guarantee and of course it's available at a bunch of different retailers so price will vary but expect to pay around 60 dollars full price it comes in a ton of colors this is the blue drop but expect to have about eight different color options now before I show you how to use a humidifier, I wanna talk about the different parts just so you're familiar with what I'm talking about when we do the whole process of setting it up. So let's just start with the top. This removable section right here is the mist outlet. This is what's gonna guide that cool mist in any direction that you want, which is awesome. This next part that you can take off, this is the tank. If you can't already guess, the water's gonna go right here. You've got a handle to hold it, but if it is full, I'd recommend using two hands to hold the whole tank. On the bottom side, you're gonna see the mist channel. This is where the mist comes out right here. You're also to see the water tank and valve. So this is the part that is going to seal the water into the machine, but also release a little bit of it into the base when necessary. And then we've got the base. So this is the base. This is where the magic really happens. The nebulizer is here is what's going to make that water turn into that ultrasonic mist, which is awesome. You've got an indicator light. It'll be green if it's working, red if it's not. And the water level sensor right here, this is an important feature because this is going to tell the machine whether or not you have enough water in the tank and it's going to automatically turn it off if you don't don't have enough. There's also a little vent on the side. You're going to want to make sure that this is not being blocked depending on where you put it in your room because it does need to be open and have access to air. It's also going to have the dial right here. So this is what you're going to use to control the level of humidity, a level of output from the machine. So this is right there. And then last but not least, the cord you need to plug it into the wall to make the machine work. 
time to show you how to set up the Crane Ultrasonic Cool Mist Humidifier. The first thing you have to think about is where is it going to go in your room? It needs to be about three feet above the ground and generally six to 12 inches away from any walls or anything that might absorb extra water like drapes or curtains or even like artwork because even though the directional mist outlet lets you direct the mist, it's still going to be pretty heavily concentrated in the area around the humidifier. Now, if you're going to put it on a nightstand or a dresser made out of wood or other material that may get warped or messed up if it has any sort of water contact, you're going to want to use a placemat or some waterproof barrier underneath the humidifier, but not a fluffy towel, nothing that can block that vent. So keep that in mind. Sometimes condensation can build up and some water can come out the bottom. So once you've figured out this spot, go ahead and place your base on that area, and then you're going to take the water tank, flip it open, open up that water tank cap and pour your water in. Now don't fill it completely up to the brim, leave a little bit of room and definitely use cool water. Again, I'd recommend distilled, but if you have um, water that comes from your tap that doesn't have super hard minerals in it, you can go ahead and use that too. Once you screw the tank cap back on, use two hands to place that whole tank into the base and then add that directional mist output back on top. Now you're ready to plug it in. Wait till you have all these components together to plug it in and make sure once you put that tank back on you're not moving the base around or anything because water has gone into the base now from the tank and it could if jostled leak out a little bit so just keep everything where it is go ahead and plug it in and then you can turn it on so when you turn the dial on you're gonna see a green light appear this means that it's working great and you should a few seconds later see some beautiful cool mist coming out of the directional output at top and of course you can control how much mist you want what you should be seeing is beautiful cool mist going straight up into the air if it's heading straight down that means that your room might already be pretty humid and you're going to want to dial down that level of output now before you empty the water or do anything with your humidifier if you're done with it you need to turn it off and unplug it make sure it's unplugged before doing anything with your humidifier there are so many things to like about the crane ultrasonic cool mist humidifier the first one is that it truly does work it adds a great level of moisture to the air and you can decide what direction that cool mist is going to point in and how much is going to come out using that dial which i love i also love that it comes in a ton of different colors and it's very discreet looking it's only five pounds you can kind of hide it in different parts of your room you can have a bright color for your kids room will work up to 500 square feet which is a good size room and I also like that it's affordable so it's found at a variety of retailers so definitely price compare but I found it for around $60 full price which I think is a great value for an ultrasonic cool mist humidifier especially one that has a antibacterial feature added to it because uh, frankly who likes germs of course, there are a few things to consider before buying this machine, but there are tiny things. First one is that you kind of need to commit to a daily or weekly cleaning routine. So water standing inside a humidifier, any humidifier, will grow bacteria and mold. Even if it has an antifungal, antimicrobial layer built in here, if it's been in, the, in your machine for about two days, you're gonna wanna make sure you clean it thoroughly, or you're gonna risk having bacteria and mold evaporated into the air of either your room or your kid's room. So cleaning is super important, but it does mean you have to let all the water out and let it air dry daily and you need to disinfect it with white distilled vinegar weekly so be prepared for that level of cleaning commitment the other thing is that there's this little yellow yellowish green light that will turn on when you turn on the humidifier or it will turn red if it's not working either way you cannot turn that light off so if you're used to having a pitch black dark room and suddenly you've got this little green light that can be distracting and last but not least this will probably not work for a large master bedroom so if your huge room is over 500 square feet or you're trying to add moisture to a living room or a dining room or a big open space, you're gonna need a bigger tank and a more powerful humidifier. I added a section about how to care for your humidifier because it's super important that you keep this clean daily and weekly. If you have any standing water in your humidifier, that's not only in the tank, but also in the base where water does collect, it can potentially grow bacteria and mold, which will then, if not cleaned, be evaporated into the cool mist of your humidifier. And nobody wants that, especially if you already have allergies or asthma. So what you need to do is make sure that daily when you're done using your humidifier, you empty out the tank and the base. So just unplug your humidifier of course take it over to the sink take off this directional nozzle of course flip over the tank unscrew that water cap dump all the water out leave the tank cap off and let everything out to dry the base will also still have water in it and yes that nebulizer is there with that layer of antibacterial material to help stop growth but that's not going to stop all of it make sure the base is also all the water dumped out the appropriate angle there's a sign at the bottom that directs you and let that air dry as well when you're not using your humidifier 
here. And then when you're ready to use it, of course, fill it up with that distilled water and use it at night. Now, once a week, you're gonna need to disinfect your humidifier. Same strategy, you're gonna wanna empty out all the old standing water, but with the tank, you're gonna wanna fill about half of it with warm water and add two tablespoons of distilled white vinegar, swish it around, get it all nice and clean, let it sit for 30 minutes. While that's working as magic, make sure the base is emptied of water, then fill up with clean water, add one tablespoon of white distilled vinegar and leave that for 30 minutes. And then if while it's all happening, make sure to rinse the directional nozzle because that needs to stay clean as well. When that 30 minutes is up, you're going to pour all of that distilled water, vinegar combo out, rinse to make sure there's no more smell, and let it all dry or use a towel to dry it. Before you start again, before you start using a humidifier, you wanna make sure that all the components are dry and that's really gonna help ensure that your humidifier stays bacteria free, mold free, and is great to use for every member of your family. You may be wondering, why is a team at Mattress Clarity reviewing humidifiers? Well, we are all about sleep and helping you find the best way to sleep. So whether that's a bed or a pillow or a humidifier, we are here for you. So there's so many benefits of having a humidifier in your room while you sleep at night. And that's because the added moisture to your room is gonna help not only with like stopping nosebleeds or dry skin or dry hair, but it's gonna help relieve coughs, colds, flu symptoms. If you have asthma or allergies, it's going to help soothe sore throats. It's adding moisture to stop things that will disrupt your sleep related to your health issues, related to breathing issues, make it non-existent. So I always recommend, especially in the winter, if you've just turned the heat on, or maybe if you live in a dry environment naturally, to add a humidifier to your room. You don't have to overdo the humidity, but even just a little bit of added humidity into the air can really help you stay comfortable and sleep as long as you possibly can. <music> I wanted to take a second to address some commonly asked questions about humidifiers and specifically this one. The first one is, what is an ultrasonic cold mist humidifier? Good question, because it's a long name. So ultrasonic means that there's a nebulizer inside this humidifier that basically works at very high speeds to take the water that you put in the humidifier and create into a cool mist that comes out of here and adds moisture to the room. Now the cool mist part is the fact that it's cool water. So there are warm mist humidifiers out there and there are also humidifiers out there that require a wicking filter. So if you want one that's filter free, make sure that it says filter free on the label or ultrasonic because that way you'll know it's having a nebulizer and make sure that you want a cool mist humidifier, which is great for kids rooms because obviously you don't want your kids around anything hot or hot water related when you're not with them. So the cool mist is, just refers to the level of water and the temperature of the water and the ultrasonic part relates to how the water becomes the cool mist. The next question that comes up is, how do you fill a Crane ultrasonic cool mist humidifier? Don't worry, it's not rocket science. I'll show you really quickly. Just remove the directional mist novel and take out the tank. The bottom of the tank, you're gonna see a little water cap. Remove that cap, and this is what you're gonna fill with that cool water. Really, screw it back on, place it back in the base, and you have officially filled your cool mist humidifier. The next question is, can you put VIX in the Crane ultrasonic cool mist humidifier? And the answer is no, you cannot put anything but water in this cool mist humidifier. Do not add essential oils, do not add anything, just put water in this please. That's explicitly what the directions say. I'd highly recommend not messing with it. Now I have reviewed two VIX humidifiers, a filter free option and an option that's called the Starry Night Sky. Both of those have options for these tiny things called VIX vapo pads. It's basically little scent, menthol scent stations that you can use in either of those. And if you really need to have VIX in your humidifier, I'd recommend looking at either of those humidifiers. And the very last question is whether or not crane humidifiers are any good. And that's a great question. Now, my personal experience is limited to just the ultrasonic cool mist humidifier for right now, but I know that crane has a great reputation for making good quality products. I also love their range. They have a ton of different humidifiers, including travel ones to take with you and super adorable kid ones that are shaped like animals. So I think based on my experience with this one and loving it as much as I do, you'll be in good hands with the crane humidifier. All right, that's it. That's my take on the Crane Ultrasonic Cool Mist Humidifier. Hope you enjoyed the review and I hope you learned something to help you decide whether or not to get a humidifier or whether or not this one's gonna be the right fit for you. I, of course, am Team Humidifier and I highly recommend getting one. If you want a personal recommendation, comment below. If you have any questions, of course, comment below. I reviewed a bunch of these and I'm happy to direct you towards the right one for you. Of course, we have a lot of content up at mattressclarity.com, so make sure to check that out as well. And I hope I see you again soon.